Hi there. Uh, I'm Silas. You are at the Citizen Wine Bar and also the Miracle Pop-Up for the most Christmassy experience in Central Massachusetts. Possibly all of Massachusetts, possibly the entire world. Who knows? Uh, we're going to talk about um, hosting, as I'm sure many of us have to do. Uh, I've prepared here a quick and crude punch that um, I think uh, just about anybody should be able to handle. I know you're probably looking at uh, all these guides to hosting and all this family coming to town. It's, um, it can be stressful and it can be easy. So I'm going to break down uh, a very simple uh, punch for you that you can make your own in, in many different ways. Uh, but this is just going to be uh, a sweet, a sour, a spirit, and really just those components are what's going to come together to make uh, uh, any, any punch that's suitable for serving multiple people. Uh, if you're like me, you like to host parties, but you don't want to get like, chained to your bar all night making you know, old fashions for one person, another person wants a Cosmo, somebody else wants something blue, you never know what you're in for. Um, so just to simplify things for yourself, just make a punch and tell people if they don't like it, they should have brought beer or wine. Um, so here we have a very ornate and uh, fancy looking punch bowl, a very particular punch ladle and punch cups. You don't need any of this. You can mix this in a pitcher, you can put it in the same pot that you cook the turkey in, uh, depending on the sort of party you're having. Don't, don't sweat it. Um, so assembly here is going to be pretty pretty easy as far as we, what I did to prepare for this right now is I've measured out a good amount of vodka in our Miracle Cocktail Shaker. I've prepared a simple syrup already using uh, turbinado sugar, but if you want to use white sugar, it's not going to make a worse drink, just a different flavor. And then this one is uh, just a little bit of lime juice. Always use fresh squeezed juices. Can you show my face? Always use fresh squeezed juices when you're making cocktails. I mean it. Fresh squeeze. Take the time. It's worth it. Um, and then uh, the most important ingredient in any cocktail, I don't care what anybody tells you, is water. Diluting is going to be important to, first of all, not floor your guests so they can get home however they're supposed to get home, uh, as well as it, it does bring balance to a cocktail. Um, so the general ratios that I'm using here uh, follow the, the old adage of punch making that uh, has existed for literally centuries. It is one of sour, lime juice, two of sweet, so I have twice as much uh, simple syrup as I do lime juice, three of strong, that's your spirit, in this case it's vodka, and four of weak, so traditionally that would be like a tea, or in this case it's water. It's just that, follow that, one of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, four of weak, and then if it doesn't taste right, you can, you can fix it, you can make it sweeter, tartar, bitter, whatever you want to do. Um, so that one of sour, let's put that lime juice in our punch bowl. What are we calling it? Oh, I didn't think about that at all. Um, this is, essentially, it's just a giant gimlet is all we're making for people. Um, you can you can call it whatever you want. Usually when somebody asks me when I'm bartending, what are we going to call this cocktail? Uh, you just ask them their name and they go, oh my god, it's Sarah. And then you make a cocktail called Sarah and then um, they're, they feel great about it. And you don't have to go through the trouble of naming a cocktail. Uh, so that was the vodka I just added. So that was uh, simple syrup, which is equal parts of sugar and water. You can also buy that stuff. You don't have to make it if it sounds complicated. It shouldn't. It's called simple syrup. Um, now we've added the, the the sour, the sweet, and the and the spirit. So this is just a really strong cocktail to achieve balance. We're going to add some water. Uh, I have measured out our four of week here. So we had. Uh, we had, we had three ounces of lime juice, six ounces of um, simple syrup, which is three ounces of sugar, three ounces of water, uh, nine ounces of vodka, and now this is 12 ounces of water. Now, now you've assembled a punch, however it's not ready to serve until it's cold. I recommend having way too much ice on hand whenever you're hosting a party. Uh, this will keep it cold throughout the ship, throughout your, throughout your shift. Look at me, I'm working all the time. <laughs> um, and it does feel like work when you're hosting a party. So for your whole shift, for your whole family, uh, your whole family shift will be good. Uh, you can also, if you have a large ice cube mold, you can make large ice cubes, which I recommend for punches. Keeps it colder longer, uh, dilutes slower. Uh, at home, I take a 
empty yogurt container. I buy those quarts of yogurt, and then once it's empty, I clean it out, I put water in it, and then I have like a big, I do make, I make a lot of cocktails at home. I think I, I think I can own up to that. Um, so here you have uh, the most basic punch that you can make. Sweet, sour, uh, strong, and weak. Um, now you can jazz this up any number of ways. My favorite ingredient is just to throw a few dashes of bitters in there. Adds a little bit of color to it. Um, adds like a depth of flavor. Bitters, when it's drawn out over this, over a big punch bowl like this, just kind of adds the baking spices, like the the cinnamon and the like the mold flavors of allspice and all that. That's kind of what you're getting out of it. Then you can look like a real baller. You take a fresh piece of nutmeg and a little grater. You can take that fine side of the of the cheese grater that nobody ever uses. Just run the nutmeg right over it. And now it smells like Christmas and it looks like, it looks amazing. All of a sudden you've created something incredible. Uh, and like I said, if you don't, I, if you're hosting a party, I don't recommend punch cups. I have commercial dishwashers that wash things all of the time, but if you, uh, if you don't feel like doing that, mu that much work for your punch, just use plastic cups. I promise it's, so you're not phoning it in. So now I'm gonna take a little ladle of this punch, put it in the punch cup. Maybe two, because, you know, thirsty in here. And there it is. I know what you're thinking, like, man, I wish I had some color in here. I'm gonna take some lemon wheels through the Hollywood magic. I've prepared these ahead of time. Just gonna throw them right on top. Maybe some lime wheels too, because we didn't even use lemon juice. You can take pieces of orange. You can take frozen cranberries. You can take cherries. You can take whatever you, whatever you have in your freezer right now. You can take frozen Brussels sprouts and put in the punch bowl. <laughs> Uh, and now you've made a punch, and now you're not married to your bar, you're not uh, going on every whim if somebody, not, people aren't just asking you for random cocktails, you can just say this is the cocktail, and there's a beer in the fridge, or you can just tell people to brunch around. Um, but yeah, this is the best punch I know how to make, uh, with very little ingredients on hand. Use fresh, use fresh citrus, use fresh juice. Anyway, cheers guys, I hope you enjoy the holiday season.